In this video, we're going over how to use AI to create these amazing video effects in just a few minutes. This website that we're using is unlike any other AI website that I've ever used before. I mean, look at the way it interprets this footage here in the subway. It completely removes the wall, creates a balcony, and just lets you see into this like mystical looking world. And then on the left-hand side, it's actually able to read the text on the wall and change it to the style you like. I'm gonna show you all the tricks that I've learned on this website and how to get the best possible result. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed because I upload videos like this all the time. I'm actually uploading daily at the moment. So if you're not subscribed, you're probably missing out on a lot of video editing sauce that you could just not be missing out on. So with that being said, drop a like and let's get into the video. So the website we're using is called kyber.ai. I'll have it linked in the description. If you guys go over and decide to sign up, make sure to use that link in the description. That way I can get some credits and make more tutorials for you guys. So to get started, go up to my videos at the top and then click create your first video. Then you're going to be given three prompts. Begin with an image. I believe that's where you upload an image and transform it into a video using AI. But the one we're going to be using is transform an existing video. And there's also add your song or audio file, which actually I'm not too familiar with. If you guys want me to explore this website a little bit more, let me know in the comments below. But for this video, we're going to be using transform an existing video. Once you've uploaded, click continue to prompt. And then I actually really like the way they have this set up. As you can see, it says I want to create a video of select a subject and then in the style of select a style. So the first text prompt is basically explaining what you want to happen in the video. So for this example, I typed in lightning storm, but you can really get creative with this. As I experimented more with the website, I did realize the more descriptive and like articulate you are with your prompts, the better the results look. I'd suggest for your first one, just play with the pre-built ones they have actually, because they do a really good job at like describing how they want their video to look. And then you can kind of model that and use it in your own prompts. Then click continue. And now this is where you describe the art style. So for us, I want grungy film look. Again, you can really put whatever you want. And then just continue to settings. This is where you can change the intensity of the overall effect. So it says the lower, the more stable the effect's gonna look and the higher, the more wild. So I went ahead and did eight. I wanted it to be a little bit more on the wild side and then go ahead and click generate. After that, you're gonna have to wait a little bit and then you'll get four preview frames. If you wanna see it a little bit better, you can download it on your computer and see, which is actually so nice because then you can choose from four different options. That's one thing that Kyber definitely has going for it because all the other AI websites that I've used, as soon as you click generate, it auto subtracts the credits from your account. So right now, if you wanted to, you can back out. If none of this is looking like what you want, you can just click back and not spend any credits. Before you go ahead and click finalize, just make sure you're selected on that frame that you want your video to look the most like, and then go ahead and click finalize video. This process also takes a few minutes, but now you'll have your video done. You can go ahead and download it. When I went ahead to upscale my video, it actually said failed in the top right. I don't know if their servers were down or what was going on. Honestly, the only issue I ran into when I was using Kyber, and in my opinion, it's not too big of a deal. It would be nice to be able to upscale to 4K all the time. I think it said later on their website that they were like dealing with server issues and it would be fixed in the future. So hopefully that does get fixed. And then here are a few other prompts that I use just experimenting with the website. The more you play with the prompts and kind of understand how it affects the video, the better results you'll actually end up getting. And then to implement this back into your video, I just opened up a bunch of the ones that I like the most. And as you can see here, it wasn't scaled up properly. So I scaled it to 150. It might be different for you, but just make sure that it kind of matches your footage. And then you're already getting this really, really crazy look. For me, I wanted to showcase a bunch of different examples. So I went ahead and split 10 frames at a time. That way it changes styles. And then to implement a nice transition between all the styles, I actually added an adjustment layer. By the way, this menu After Effects extension that's coming out to save you time making new layers and everything. It'll be out very soon, probably within the week. I'll have a pre-order for that in the description if you're interested and want to save some money on it. Basically, it's going to speed up your After Effects workflow a lot. And then on that adjustment layer, I added vertical hit mega with a flash from Shake Sauce. And I changed the keyframes around a little bit, and then I just copied and pasted them on each of the cuts. That way there's just this little shake with a flash throughout between all the scenes. If you're interested in Shake Sauce, I'll also have that link down in the description. It's by far the best shake in all of After Effects. And then after that, to make the AI just look a little bit less like digital, I added some Dehancer on it and then also Universe Heatwave. That's all I got for you guys in this one. I think Kyber AI has probably been the best AI video editing website that I've used so far. They have a lot of features that other AI video editing websites just don't really have. And then also I really like the way like it interprets your footage and actually kind of understands the text and then also like walls and just like how to transform your footage a little bit more where I feel like a lot of the other AI websites kind of just like apply a style to everything, but like it kind of just blends all together. Like I said, I'll have everything that I talked about in this video linked down in the description. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. I'm uploading a video every single day of this month. So there's been plenty of videos already this month and there's gonna be a lot more coming. And if you haven't already dropped a like on the video, it'd be greatly appreciated because it just helps out the channel so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.